Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Fat TV World Yay, with Katie we're... and Delany. Yes. Yes. We're here today. Yes. With my shirt. Can you guess what my shirt is? Oh, well, I have guessed what her shirt is, uh -huh. but can you guess what her shirt is? So it has something to do with something I'm doing this week. Yes. yes. She, we're having a big thing. And um, basically, who can and guess this? Know. Here you go. It says Hawkins. Um, middle school middle AV school. club. Yes. yes. So if you can guess where this shirt is from... Um, yay. <laughs> we'll tell you at the end. Hey, wait, didn't, don't we own a Michael Adair or somebody a t-shirt from one time? Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get it to you, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but we're doing something special today. Yes, we let's, are. Let's show everybody behind us. Check this out. Who are these lovely ladies behind us? So, this is the Fatch Girls. Fatch, it's, uh, com it's Fatch Sketch Comedy uh, Show that I uh, have the pleasure to be in. And these are basically our they cast. Do. Yes. Oh, obviously me, Delany. Um, our founder, Miss Nikki Bailey. We have Kathy. We have Simone. And we have Gloria. Gloria. And we, Gloria. And we've, we've had, had Gloria. Gloria on before had on, Gloria our, on, on our blog. Show. Yes. Better on our vlog. Yes. yes. So today we're kind of like we're just uh, honoring fat sketch comedy because we want to share with y'all uh, who do not live in Los Angeles and you haven't seen the live show some of the stuff that we've been up to. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So um, we're gonna be showing little bits and pieces, right, of yes. some of the sketches. Uh, KT was kind enough; she came in and uh, she recorded uh, the last show that we did last month. Yep. Yeah. I so we're, are you excited to see these things? <laughs> Well, I'm being and, like totally dull right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's why. okay. I know why. Why? First of all, you're never dull. Okay. Uh, secondly, we are our one, uh, our two human uh, workshop here. We are our own AV club. Yeah. So we basically <laughs> have had to put this whole thing together ourselves. Right. And it's a lot of work. To and stand it has right to here. look good because we need a broadcast quality. Yes, of yes. course. And also just because cause we're filmmakers. But I do want to yeah. give a shout out because I don't think anybody knows, but uh, we do air now in West Hollywood. Yes. On public. Access, public access, which you're watching right now, mm -hmm. but you might also be watching this on the internet. So if you're in the West Hollywood, Los Angeles area, watch us there because this show will. This one's going to air on there. Yes, very and exciting. And some more. And we also, I just wanted to also add, just because we've been talking about it, if anybody wants to come in and be a part of our team, we are looking for a really reliable intern to come help us behind the scenes to help uh, make these shows happen. And we are a good team to work for. We just need, we, we need help. Let's just be honest. <laughs> this is a lot of work and we need someone reliable who's not going to flake on us, who's going to be here with us the whole time and want to make this commitment and learn more about filmmaking. Correct. And uh, we are fun to hang out with and we've got a lot to offer. Um, someday, of course, that would include money. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> I would mean, like any, uh, so, I'm especially putting the call out to any marginalized people from, please, that are behind. Yes. Directors, producers, editors, cinematographers, sound, anything. If you do it all, like I, I call myself the Jill of all trades because as a producer, I've had to learn everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and director, I think a, a good director, by the way, should know every piece, everything that a crew does. Yes. It don't mean, mean you have to be type A and like tell them what to do, how to do their job, but you need to know what their job is. Right. You know? Yeah. She's the Jill of all trades. I'm the Jelani of all trades. <laughs> the Jelani. <laughs> so, Jelani. Yes. Jelani. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start showing... Are we ready for this? Or is this yeah. Oh, I didn't know do if you wanted to go through any current events this week or oh. anything like that. Yeah, maybe we should. Um, let's talk well, about... I do want to say oh. big shout out to Lizzo doing so well, not only yes. at the MTV Awards with Juice, at the BET Awards with Truth Hurts, I mean, and then performing her butt off at, Gla what is it, Gla Glassberry? I Gla Richard, Glassberry? Richard, I'm sorry because oh. you're from the UK. Oh. <laughs> but the big festival in the UK, that is, I and I was a little mad, just so you know, because I was like, can her record label spend a little bit more money on her show? Yeah. Especially at that festival. But I'm going to tell you, she doesn't need it because no. her and those dancers owned that stage. Yeah, they really know? do. I mean, it's Lizzo. Like, she doesn't need smoke and mirrors behind her because that's how big her personality, her charisma, her talent. Like, that show, she's a superstar to me because she shows you what her talent correct her talent can cover that whole thing without needing any like smokes and smoke and mirrors right. in the background so i i love that she was up there on her own personally my yeah. favorite thing was uh during the truth hurts breakdown when uh -huh. she did the flute breakdown yeah then it goes to rihanna and rihanna's like Oh, yeah. oh, for BT, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I that was, was like, great. That, I was that was that made my day. Everybody, if you haven't checked it out yet, it's Truth Hurts on BET Awards. It's just such a great performance right. from beginning to end. The dancers, Lizzo, the flute, which I think the flute has its own Instagram now. I know, so, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, because so, I was reading, she's she went to I think it was in Houston, somewhere in Texas. 
she went and she's classically trained. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's pretty cool. But she's I want to also talk Who about. Who can flute and twerk at the same time? I know. Lizzo. Lizzo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what is it? It's lesbians now. I'm a lesbian. I'm a li- I am all lesbian for like, sure. That is totally true. Yeah. <laughs> but I do want to say one other thing because this is another marginalized person, but little Nas X. Oh yeah, you know he. You know he has that hit song. The, I'm gonna old take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna <laughs> ride like I can't. Is it can't no more? Oh shoot, something like yeah. that. Yeah, those kids would so have it. So he finally yeah. came out. I mean, like you didn't know, like he did come out at this the Pride thing this year, mm-hmm. the big mm-hmm. New York Pride for mm-hmm. Stonewall and all that. So the last day he started tweeting. Oh, and he was like, uh, did not anybody notice? He started. The cover of his album is pointing towards LGBT colors oh, and stuff like that. Yeah. So he ca- he officially okay. came out. Oh, cool, okay. So that's yeah. a big story, too. It's very big because, you know? like, this is, it also shows you it's a generational thing because right. he's part of a younger generation where he has this privilege now to mm-hmm. be able, first things first, now that he's becoming this household name, he can say, and in addition to that, this is what my world is. This Correct. is what I'm a part of. This is my group. This is my, you know, this is my tribe. Mm-hmm. And I love that that he, as an artist, he doesn't have to hide that. Right. So I feel like we've made a lot of, um, you Strides. know. Yes. I think, yes. I mean, we have so much more to go. And all but, I have yeah. to say is that freaking song is in my head. And then to have <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus... Oh. You know, redid it with him. That That's the yeah. big remix that everybody hears. I just, I'm going to love to see it at the country awards. It has to be at the country awards. It's got to cross over. Didn't they do it? Did oh. they? Well, I or mean, I already... know the thing was, was there was a, um, his original one mm-hmm. uh, was on the Billboard country charts. Okay. It debuted at like number 14, I think. Nice. Don't Don't quote me on that. Uh-huh. But they, that the big thing was they took it off because they said it wasn't country. It is country. It's country trap. Hello. And freaking Billy Ray Cyrus is singing no, on no, it. No, 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 like, no. The original. Oh, the original. The original uh, is an hour and, I mean, an, it's the same thing as the Billy Ray. I yeah, mean, yeah, It's yeah, like yeah. almost the same. Right. Only it doesn't have Billy Ray on. Got you. Yeah. Okay. So, well, the only thing, um, I guess the only thing I can add to this, um, what new things have happened, we talked about it a little bit. That Kim Kardashian, yes, I'm bringing her up, but she started her own version of Spanx, and she has attempted to trademark yes. this name of her Spanx wear, her mm-hmm. fake Spanx wear, and she is calling it Kimono. So And she's tried to trademark that word. She's tried to trademark Kimono for her fake Spanx, Spanx mm-hmm. brand, and just it, double-handedly, she has managed to insult Japanese culture and practice her appropriation and also insult women who don't have the money to get the surgery to look like a perfect, Uh like, whatever. What is deemed perfect in our society. Correct. So, like, either way, to me, this kimono is kim Oh no! Yes, Kim. Oh no! I will not be buying from you that could, brand. She could have totally made it another name. Yeah, she could have totally made, made it another name, and then she could also use people of size in her shapewear. Correct. Right? Like Correct. she could have used people of all sizes, but mm-hmm. she basically used herself and people smaller than her. So it makes no sense. Don't. Well, don't buy speaking it. of her, I'm yeah. in my Facebook feed the other day, and I get this thing that says, "Oh, new sunglasses, repped by her, made by her, whatever." Uh. Only $99. And I said, you know what? I can go. I went to the dollar store the other day and got a freaking awesome pair of sunglasses Just that I wear in the pool. For a dollar. For a dollar. For a dollar. I'm not paying $99 for glasses unless they're prescription. Because my, like, pres- my prescription sunglasses, yeah. I pay for. Yeah. But I'm not paying $99 for you, something that I'm going to lose. You could get 99 sunglasses for $99. Correct. And you could share with the tons of people who need sunglasses. You don't need any more money. Make it $25 <laughs> and under. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so let's go into the first batch uh, um, awesome. uh, sketch. Yeah. Do you want to lead in? Let's lead in. I forgot what the first one over here is. Oh I don't the order. What's the order? I don't remember. <laughs> well, we're going to show the, uh, what was the first one? Uh, <laughs> you guys, you know what's great about the show is that KT and I are off the cuff. We, I know. We and I mean, it's honesty. It's, we are transparent as can be. The fir- What was the first one? Do we I need don't to look remember. Up no, we're going to have to look, aren't we? That's no. okay. No. How about this? We're going to cut to it, and then we're going to talk about it when we come back. Yes. Awesome. All, All right, right, guys. Enjoy. We'll see you in a minute. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us here at Fat Table Talk. I'm Kara. This is Noelle. And today we have a very special guest. Please welcome... Comedy writer and showrunner Shante Cooper. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Shante, we are thrilled to have you. You are one of the only plus size showrunners in this town, and your show, Trivets, 
is killing it in the ratings. Congratulations on that. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm excited. No, we appreciate you, Shantae. Thank you. So our viewers want to know, what is it like working on set with so many thin actresses, and does it ever affect your self-esteem? You know, the thin women I expected, right? It's Hollywood. Um, but there was one thing that's been kind of like bothering me, and I, like, I hate to say it, like I'm mad at myself for even thinking about it. It sounds weird, but the lack of male attention. Uh, yes, what? I, I don't it, understand. I get it. Okay, so I'm from Philadelphia, okay? And in Philly, well, it's kind of like this. Oh, what's up? Oh, hello. Okay. What's up? All right. Oh. Hey, beautiful. Oh, you want to come over to my mama's house? Okay, okay, here's the thing. I don't miss the cat calling, but it's definitely like better than LA, where it's more like. Oh, jeez, hi, I'm walking. Come on. Oh, hey. Oh, Anthony. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, you miss off on charger. What the hell was that? God, just invisible. Yeah, I get it. I'm from here and it's pretty bad. See, when I used to work in the food service industry, being a fat waitress was way worse than being a bad one. Hello, Misty Davis. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm good, Karen. I'm good. It's Karen. Um, uh, do you have any, uh, uh, would you like your regular iced ice tea with two sugars or are you wanting to switch it up today? Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Is there like anyone else that can serve me right now? Oh, any of the pretty people available? Oh, well, everyone who works here is pretty, sir. So, are you looking for anyone in particular? No, no, any one of them. Any one of them. Oh, okay. Well, um, it's a very busy night, and all of the other sections are full. And you're in my section, which means I'm going to help you. Okay. Okay. Oh, what about that one over there? Oh yeah, her. She's a wait. Uh, she's a hostess, and she's 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well. I'll come back in a few years. Oh. Okay. Okay, so I've had the complete opposite experiences than both of you. I have recently got a personal trainer, and he used my fatness to uh, justify making gross passes at me. 49.50. Great job. Looking good. Oh, hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> Noelle, this is my wife, Joanne. Uh, I'm Noelle. Pleased to meet you. Well, likewise. I'm so sorry I didn't know you guys were like really Oh, no, we're just wrapping up. It's all good. You know, babe, you should totally take a look at her pants. They're, uh, they're nice. They're uh, Lululemons. <laughs> no, they are not Lululemons. Uh, I'm pretty sure Noelle, I saw all the time. Um, unless Lululemons is on sale at Target, which never happens. So. Noelle, I don't know why you're fighting me on this. I saw the tag. I don't even know why you're looking. Hey, babe, can you go uh, back to the office, pick up my stuff? Yeah, babe. I'll be there in a second. Noelle, super nice meeting you. <laughs> so can I walk you to your car? You know what? I am good. I will see you later. Noelle, you know, a guy wants a thin woman on his arm, a thick woman in his bedroom. No! Oh, my God, this is so sad. Like, I should be grateful for that? Oh, oh my God. Oh, Why? Why are there, like, only two options? I'm either a fetish or I'm invisible. Um, I am a human being worthy of respect. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a big person or a grandmother or married. Across the board, we all still want to feel beautiful, but that doesn't mean that we want to be treated as if we're invisible, right? Doesn't mean you get to make passes at us, guys. But why is this so hard to understand? It's not hard to understand, Noelle. And I think as a society, we need to do way better with how we treat our women and how we treat each other. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so we want to thank Shantae for joining us today and thank for being you. so open and honest. And to end it all off, like my mom always says, your mama's vaginal canal did not make space for your big head so that you could reject your own body or so that you could refuse space for the fat people in your life. Oh, your mama said that? Yeah, she's very chatty. Thank you so much, everyone. That was fun. Yes. <laughs> And that was okay. called Fat Table Talk. Sorry about that earlier because I was like losing my mind for a minute. And so was I, but longer than a minute. Yeah. So yeah, but yeah, Fat Table Talk. Because we need a producer behind the camera Ooh. feeding us stuff. Yes. 
But who cares? You know what? We're good. Yeah. So you just saw and enjoyed Fat Table Talk. And that was actually written by Gloria De Leon. Yeah. And uh, she does a great job writing, by the way. I love yes. her. And as you saw, just Nikki, Simone, and some of the rest of the cast. So yeah, that was fun. It was inspired by Red Table Talk mm-hmm. with uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. And it was around the time that Steph and Aisha Curry uh, was in the news for Aisha making a comment on Red Table Talk about the fact that she feels that men don't talk to her anymore because she's married hmm. um yeah and it was you know it was an interesting conversation a lot of people took it all all which way but the way fatch made made it fatches is that basically women of size are such a fetish mm-hmm. with a lot of people where they feel that they can pick pick us apart whether it's good bad or ugly they gotta say something about it so that's basically what this uh sketch was inspired by oh cool yeah all right mm-hmm. so let's go into the next one guys all right get ready we'll just surprise you ladies for those of you who have not received a rose, please say your final goodbyes. Did I walk you out? Listen, you're hilarious and kind and adjectives and ad- Can you please <laughs> Can you please not? Just be honest with me. Well, you know, if I'm being honest, like Honestly, in all honesty, it's it's a chemistry thing. That's, that's honestly, you know, what it is. Okay, <laughs> see, that's so weird because when we were making out in that kiddie pool full of puree tomatoes, you just kept saying, we have so much chemistry. Oh my God, we have so much chemistry. Holy shit, the chemistry in here is just on a completely other level. Okay, 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 listen. It's just that I have more things in common with the others. But... We're lawyers. Different areas of expertise. <laughs> We're tax lawyers. You do mergers. I do acquisitions. Mindy does eyelash extensions <laughs> for a living. <laughs> Mindy and I have other things in common. Look, it's fine, but just say it. It's my body. Ooh, ooh. What? Your body? That's hilarious. This, this is that hilariousness thing I was talking about. What do you and Mindy have in common? It's just about, you know, lifestyle. Lifestyle? Yeah, Mindy's super active. Okay, but when we did the shot put challenge, I beat you. Oh. Yeah, but that's like not even cardio, you know? And it, it's like, it's more about, you know, I'm a foodie. And you know, bless your heart, you're always on a diet. I am not on a diet. You're not. I'm a bad influence already. I am so sorry. No. (laughs) Hey, look, it's fine, okay? Look, I understand that it takes a certain kind of guy to be with a woman who looks like me. But I am that kind of guy. It doesn't make you a bad person. No, it's just, it's not because. Look, just. Good luck with your search. No, it's... I only see souls, okay? I'm like <laughs> super cheap here, okay? Like, my favorite movie is She's All That. <laughs> like, I, I love you. Where's the Elaine? I chose her. Where the fuck is the Elaine? <laughs> He's just the sweetest guy. <laughs> called Bachelor Breakup, right? Bachelor Breakup. Okay. So yeah, that one I didn't have as much to do, and uh, but that was with uh, Gloria, mm-hmm. Hannah, we got Kathy, Simone, and I. But what we love about, about a Bachelor Breakup is just calling out the hypocrisy of a man mm-hmm. who usually is going to go for a woman because of what she looks like on the outside. So he has no idea what her actual health is on the inside, like her, her vital organs <laughs> or <laughs> the fact that she can run a marathon or any of those things. He's literally basing it on the fact of what he's seeing with his outside lens. Mm. So we're basically just making light of that and making fun of it. And also, the show The Bachelor, how seriously do we actually really, you know, take I'm, it? Look, I'm sick of The Bachelor. Did I'm, you used to I watch mean, The I Bachelor? No, I just don't understand how people can actually... Actually, you know what? I was watching Pop TV the other day, and mm-hmm. I think it was Big Brothers After, after Dark or something like right. that. And I'm like... How is this TV now? It's it's main TV too. It's and like, like main how, TV. And it's so yeah. fake. And like people are so the like fake. Like they just want to be on this stuff. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And I'm like, I, I just was like. Oh. But that's why. I, I do, that is a great question. Why are people watching this? 
And I, I have a really... Because we have a voyeuristic society. Yeah. That's why. Mm -hmm. And we like to talk crap about other people, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I like, don't know. Right now we're Drama. right now we're saying how come people are watching it? So we're basically talking about the people who are watching it. Right. It's we're a, creating it's a vicious drama. Circle. It's a vicious which, circle. <laughs> which everybody likes. Well, we I like think drama. I used to watch The Bachelor like when it first came out, mm -hmm. just because it was something new, but it was just so sexist. Like it was just gross and Right. Yeah, I just Well even the no. Bachelorette is even though it's a woman, yeah, it's still that's sexist. also sexist. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. My mama watches all that mess and we get into it about it. And then she's all like, I don't really watch it. I just have it on in the background. Yeah, that's right. That's what every Everybody yeah, says, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really want. They, everybody loves the drama. Just say yes, I love the just drama. Just say you love the drama. But also talk to us about what you feel about how the men make choices based on, do you, do you find that to be true? They're making it based on just their actual physical attraction. And it mm -hmm. has nothing else to do with mental, emotional, or anything else. It's Correct. literally about the physical. Like, let's talk about that. And maybe it's women too. We shouldn't just put this as a man thing. Mm -hmm. It could be women too. It could be this market. I don't know. I love to talk to people who actually watch The Bachelor. So, okay. yeah. All right. Well, we'll do me? that. So, speaking of drama. Drama. Here's the next sketch. Oh, this mirror. Beach set. Beach set. Beach set. Oh. Beach set. Okay, just stop. I'm sorry. I'm just not in the mood to go to the beach today. I'm sorry. Wait, what? No, 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 no. This is the third time you've failed this week. What's going on? You love the beach. No, I loved the beach. But then I gained this weight. Just <laughs> let me lose just like a little bit of weight so I can get my beach body back. Your beach body? Yeah, there's no way this body is getting near the ocean. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, my friend, are a victim of a diet culture. Please let me revive you. No, no, no. Just like two more months of like some paleo diet, and maybe we can go to some secluded pool in San Bernardino County where there's no fish or seagulls. No, no, no. Me. Ariel, oh, listen to me. The diet world, it's a mess. Life in your own body is better than anything they got out there. The seaweed salad is greener on somebody else's plate. You dream about losing 10 pounds, but that is a big mistake. Just ignore the world around you. You deserve more than that. You can swim in the ocean, whether you're skinny or fat. My beach body, my beach body, my beach body, my beach body. Darling, it's better. Take off your sweater. Come swim with me. They're counting calories all day. Back at the gym, they say away. While I'm devoting full time to floating, my beach body. Right now, all my friends are happy as we embrace laughs and rolls. The diet zombies ain't happy. They sat with their empty bowls. Some people may try and shame us and start a big healthy fate. Our bodies are not their business. Guess who's gonna have to lose weight? Uh oh, my beach body. My beach body. 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 No one can treat us with harm or disgust. That is the key. We've been who people love to mock. That's ending now, so suck my <laughs> We got no troubles. Our butts are bubbles. My, my beach body. My beach, beach body. body. My beach body. My beach body. Since life is sweet here, we got to be here naturally. Naturally. E -e -e -e. What a great way to spend the day. Laying in the sand and catch a ray. I wear a bikini. No, hey, teeny. My, my beach, beach body. body. My bathing is too cute. My hat is all that. My belly is out and I'm free and fat. My ass kids, you see, my chub is for rub. My boots are a gift from God. Yeah. And margaritas while you're on a float to get a tan. Make friends with a boat. You don't have
beach body. <laughs> My I, beach body. I like that one. Yeah. Because, like, the first, the first time I saw Fats, you guys did a, a musical number at the end. Yes. And now, so now when you, when they do the show in the theaters, they do a, a, a musical number. Yeah, I feel like it's actually expected of us now. Like, if, you, if, you've, if you've been following us since the beginning, like, and of course, the majority of the women in the, the cast, we love musical theater. Mm -hmm. I, I'll just say all of us do. We've had some, some right. opinions on this. But we want to do musical parodies. Right. And uh, the first one was Seasons of Lunch. <laughs> like, it was a parody of Seasons of Love from Rent, and that was written by Gloria. And then the one that you just enjoyed, That's My Beach Body, which, of course, is from Under Under the Sea, uh, from uh, Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. And Katie, Katie uh, wrote that one. We don't have Katie back here, but we're going to do a new photo shoot. Yeah. So everybody can enjoy wonderful, marvelous Katie. We love Katie. <laughs> so, yeah, she wrote that, and uh, we got to perform it in Vegas. For Ooh. a really cool body positive uh, pool party that we went to. Oh yeah, the yeah. party we ranted about the other day. On yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we actually performed my beach body at the uh, the the pool party, and it just went over really well. And um, we we're hoping that we can film it this summer as well. Cool. Yeah. Well, so everybody, I'm glad you tuned in today. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you to the Fatch Girls for letting us film you. Yeah, y'all are awesome. You I mean, know? we are awesome. Because uh, <laughs> you're part of yeah. it. Um, everybody, you can catch Fatch where. Oh, well, basically, Fatch Comedy, you can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. Uh, we're also on Twitter. And we are going to start putting out digital content. And I'm sure Fat TV with Fetch is we're going to we're going to help out as well. Correct. Yeah, so Correct. you'll you'll be seeing us all merge with each other over the summer and then the next live performance we are planning for the fall. So just stay in touch with us, follow us and we will get that information out to you. And yeah. so then follow us Fat TV World on Fat, uh, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter yes. and fattvworld.com. We're also on YouTube. We are premiering uh, every Wednesday night we premiere new content on YouTube and Facebook, so yes. catch that out. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, West uh, West Hollywood Public Access, we're on there, but we're adding more, so stay tuned for that. We love you guys. Wait, 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 wait. we're not done. What? We're not done because we got to figure out if anybody figured this out. Your shirt. Oh! Yeah. All right. So, if, if, so you, hopefully we will have seen in the comments at this point that somebody figured out where KT's T-shirt is from. So, KT, tell everybody where your T-shirt's from. So, this week is my birthday week. Just Yay, FYI. Happy 21. Happy 21. 21. <laughs> yes! So, we're having a pool on, on July 4th. My birthday's July 6th, and on July 4th, I decided to have uh, Fourth of July pool party mm -hmm. and Stranger Things Ooh. because it's the series premiere yes. and we're gonna have a screening and all that. So yes. I'm excited about that. So this is and from I also tried Stranger to get Things. tickets. Speaking of which, that Stranger Thing experience going on down the street uh -huh. sold out. Sold out. All right. Uh, I don't doubt it. I'm That's okay. We're having our own Stranger Things ex experience right here. Yes. So do you want to give everybody your address? Let them no. know where we're. KT lives. But we are going to do some <laughs> some live stuff from there. So check out our Facebook and Twitter. Yes. And Instagram, probably Facebook. You get to party with us. You yes. got to celebrate Katie's twenty first. It only yes. happens once. Yes, and actually so. happens every year. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so cool. Anyway, thank you guys, and we love you. FatTVWorld.com. Okay. Bye. Bye.